Hello, welcome to Polyphonic Press. My name is Jeremy Boyd, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new album by the Dandy Warhols entitled This Machine. Here we go. So the Dandy Warhols are an American rock band uh, formed in Portland, Oregon in 1994 by Courtney Taylor Taylor. They gained some modest commercial success with songs like uh, Not If You Were The Last Junkie On Earth and Bohemian Like You. Uh, they really had some peaks and valleys with, in terms of commercial success, but has been pretty consistent with releasing albums, averaging about two a year. And this is their latest album, released in April of 2012, and it's called This Machine. This album starts off with a song called Sad Vacation. Uh, it has this kind of fuzz guitar kind of tone and it's pretty much a straightforward rock song. It's pretty solid mainly playing off the main riff of the song um, but here and there you'll hear these weird noises that give it a bit of a psychedelic edge as well. It's not completely psychedelic but just sort of making reference or paying homage to it. The song Enjoy Yourself has a bit of an old school punk uh, feel to it kind of like Iggy and the Stooges or the MC5 and Courtney Taylor's uh, vocal performance really does sound like Iggy Pop on this one. I actually found myself going through the album credits just to make sure that Iggy Pop wasn't the one singing. Um, he really does sound like Iggy Pop on this song. The main difference that takes it away from a Stooges record is the, the production is pretty clean on this one, um, but the guitar solos are really well done, and then again, it has that fuzz guitar that was really prevalent on Stooges records. The guitar solos really fit this song perfectly, and uh, that's one thing that I do admire about this band is their ability to really come up with really memorable and great riffs. The song Well They're Gone is a, a bit of an interesting song to me, um, has a bit of a disjointed waltz kind of feel. The use of the accordion really stands out to me because when you're listening to it, um, you're really not sure exactly what it is, but when you realize it's the accordion, um, it can be a little distracting, but it somehow fits with the song and with the overall feel. And the drums are doing this weird kind of rhythm. I don't really know exactly how to describe it, but um, it sounds cool and it, it fits the song really well. There's an interesting cover on this album. Um, they covered a song by Merle Travis called 16 Tons, which is a popular song covered by many artists. Surprisingly, they stay pretty true to the original, um, adding in a saxophone as the main hook of the song. It really gives it a more of a jazz feel as well. It really kind of fits the song too perfectly. And if there's anything I know about this band is their ability to do a cover, uh, sort of almost stay true to the original, but sort of put their own spin on it and still somehow make it work. The song I Am Free is a rare song on this album, as it's almost a really straight ahead pop rock song, with the electric guitar playing this sort of distinct riff, and the acoustic guitar playing underneath it just playing straight chords. This is definitely a highlight for me on this album, because uh, it's a really great combo of experimental and pop that just simply works. The album ends with a song called Slide. Um, it's a great song, but it takes a while to get where it's going. It's got a jumping rhythm that can appeal to a lot of people. Um, it's a little laid back, but it's full of energy at the same time. And the spacey vocals really give it a haunting, ethereal feel that maybe it's going to go to a dark place, but it's going to work out in the end. It sort of holds your hand along this dark journey. The production on this album is pretty well done. It's pretty slick and clean. Um, I don't feel like they recorded this album live. I think they sort of built it up as as like a foundation, like building a house, starting with the drums and working your way up from there. I don't think that this has a live feel to it. It's really well put together. It doesn't feel like they just... Uh, you know, set up and played. Having said that, I don't think these songs really work too well together. Um, there was a bit of a disconnection and it kind of felt like it was all over the place. I didn't really have a clear idea as to where this album was going from one song to the next. Uh, each song was kind of a surprise, uh, it, which isn't a bad thing, but it's nice to have sort of uh, something that works together. It's an all right album, but I don't think it's their strongest effort to date, um, so I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. So anyway, that's what I thought about the album. Let me know what you guys think in the comments or with the video response, and uh, if you'd like to suggest an album for me to review, please leave that in the comments as well, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.